Now at six, a disturbing discovery at a local graveyard has now turned into a homicide investigation. We first told you about it on Eyewitness News this morning. Firefighters were called to the Pocasset Cemetery late last night after getting a call about a brush fire. But when they got there, they discovered a burning body. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly is live in Cranston now from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom with what he's learned. Mike, the police are still on the scene here in Cranston where they're investigating a homicide of a young man whose dead body was discovered burning here in Pocasset Cemetery. Firefighters made a difficult discovery just before 11 last night here at Pocasset Cemetery in Cranston. Responding to a call about a brush fire, the firefighters found a dead body burning. They called the police, who identified the deceased as a Providence man in his early 20s. Detectives are treating his death as a homicide. They're still investigating how he died and who killed him and why. Carolyn Medeiros lives nearby. You stay together. It used to be an area that women would aerobic walk and jog regularly. That's completely changed. You don't want to be down in this area by yourself. Michaela Bucci says she's done with Cranston now. I want to move out of Cranston now, definitely. Where to? I want, like, to a nicer area. Such as? Like North Kingstown. You've I mean, already got really, a plan. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've been planning to move out since two months ago, actually, when the woman downstairs got murdered to, from my house, from my building. The police aren't releasing the name of the victim until his family is notified. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.